What's up, everybody? It's been a quiet few days here. A tornado in this region of Canada. We had massive power outage. I think you can probably hear the generators. No power still. Uh, cell towers, no coverage, no data, no phones. Today's the first day my phone's worked. Um, so back connected to the the real world hooray uh so anyways i thought i'd give uh just a review of some of the things that i've seen since the weekend since saturday uh i wasn't able to watch east versus west so i've been just watching some of the matches today actually on engen's channel guys great matches engen's doing incredible work for arm wrestling always has but uh the the matches that he's putting together incredible this last card was really exciting links down below to his channel go over and check out some of the matches um i'll talk about a bunch of those uh really enjoyed my time in quebec city uh man those guys really put a hurting on my arm it was <laughs> I thought I'd I thought it'd be a lot safer, but uh, the three of those studs, um, Gabriel, uh, Andre, and uh, Pierre, I was really impressed. I really enjoyed my time. Thanks, Benoit. Uh, Fitlog Classic. I'll be there again next year for sure. Um, provincial championships as well. Um, again, I haven't gotten to see much. Highlights for me is uh, Porky won uh, the super heavyweights left and right, so that's awesome for our club here. And uh, I believe, and I have to confirm this, but I think Troy Eaton, I think he beat Alan Ford, who totally cleaned up the 198 pound class. So Troy is kicking ass, which, uh, you know, I love to see. Troy's. Uh, you know, Troy's one of my favorite people and one of my original coaches and it's great to see that he's uh, kicking ass down there with the Picton Club so much. So I talk about a few of the matches from East versus West. Uh, I guess we'll talk about John versus Zureb. It was 3-2, but to me, you know, it wasn't quite that close, you know, going over and watching it. Really interesting call with the... Uh, with the, uh, you know, John had total hand control and he was kind of chasing him down as Zureb was trying to uh, bail slash pin. It's like he's, like he's staying with that, John's staying with the hand, but yes, it's on the wrong side of the table. It's just, it's an interesting call. Um, I, I talked about this, John was, John Millen was over as, we were watching uh, the matches. We talked about it for a while. Yes, the rule is, if you are on your winning side of the table and the hand crosses the pin plane, it's a win for you. Like if you if it's on your side of the table, no matter what the hand position is. But I know certainly as an arm wrestler, when my hand is like chasing yours down, it doesn't feel like a loss. It doesn't feel like it. And you have the option certainly to slip out. It's a weird call. It's a weird call. So the 3-2 score uh, didn't feel necessarily reflective of what it actually was. It seemed like any time John really wanted to win it, he could just get serious and, and force the victory. Great match. Great to see John keeping on crushing it. Todd Hutchings versus Arakli. Super anticipated. I thought it was going to be so much closer. I really did. I thought Todd was going to be in all sorts of trouble. Todd killed him. Really, he did. He killed him. Mosquitoes everywhere. Yeah. Uh, he murdered him. Uh, Rackley took his hand and whatever. There was a little bit in round two where Rackley looked like he kind of had something, but never really. Never really. Totally dominant performance from uh, from Todd, which I personally really like to see. You know, with the whole you know 
my match coming up. It was it was nice to see that. Um, you had some really tight matches. These next two matches were the most interesting for me. Dave Chafee versus Gennady Kvitvinia. Wow, like round one when uh, Dave just looked so dominant. Oh my God, like you can't look much more dominant in a round one win than Dave did. Just bam, just full domination. Even round two looked very dominant. And then Gennady just turned it around, you know. He, uh, you know, he put the brakes on. And throughout the entire thing, even when Dave was just having his way with them, Gennady's spirit just really shines. Like, he fights and fights and fights. And, uh, always love to watch this guy arm wrestle. He's so good. Anyways, he ended up chipping away at Dave and finding a hole, and by the end, it was Gennady all day long, any way he really wanted it. So that was quite an impressive turnaround victory. Um, yeah, it looked like Dave just gassed out. Uh, and then, <laughs> total barn burner, Rivas and Michael Todd. Um, Rivas is a big dude and he was really able to to uh, block that center with his shoulders so there was really no way around Michael couldn't really find a way around that big long arm and big hand of Rivas's even when it was flopped out um, very impressive match uh, three to two. That's a that's a tight match, real grinder. Uh, wow, I'm sure they're sore, and a lot of interesting stuff coming up for Mike now. You know he's getting ready to pull uh, Todd Hutchings, and yeah, the August card for King. Oh, sorry, not King of the Table for East versus West. The Engen setting up is already smoking hot I've seen the lineup and uh, such a good job you're doing Engen man arm wrestlers love you all over the planet uh, and fans of arm wrestling that's about it uh, I've been training hard it's one month out today one month and I'm competing in Dubai against the guy who hates me, doesn't want to talk to me, all that kind of stuff, good times, anyways, I'm, uh, I'm healthy, I'm killing it, and uh, I'm excited to start tapering down and uh, seeing, uh, seeing what that big dude's got on the table, hope everybody's good, and uh, stay massive everybody.